In working with my annotative scales, I have to decide exactly which scales I want to have added to the list. We don't want to have scales that we're not going to use, but we need to have the scales that we want. The scale list will show me my default list of all the scales that are available. These are the same scale lists that I use for scaling my viewports. You can add additional scales if you need one that's not on the list, or you can edit scales. I also have the ability to add additional scales by clicking on my Add or Delete Scales, choosing the annotative objects, and then adding to the list. If I say Add, I'm going to get that same scale list. That's why I would need to add to the scale list an additional scale if it doesn't show up on the list when I want to add it. The other way that I have for adding scales is down on the status bar I have a button that's by default turned off that will automatically add scales to the annotative objects when the annotative scale changes. If I activate this and then I'm going to say um, 1 to 5 as a scale, you notice that it automatically changes to that scale and now if I look at my scales that are part of my annotative objects, 1 to 5 has been added to my scale. The reason why that one is generally kept turned off is that if I use my annotative scales down here and I change them, I don't want to keep adding additional annotative scales that I may not need later. You want to add those scales deliberately. Now the power of using annotative scales comes out when I change to my layouts. I'm going to change from model space to my first layout. And I'm going to click inside this layout. You can see down here on the status bar my annotative uh, view, well my viewport scale and my annotative scale are locked together. So if I change my viewport scale from 1 to 1 and you notice that the size of these dimensions is set to their default size. I'm going to change 1 to 2. And while my object has changed in size, my dimension text and my dimension objects are still at the same optimal scale. If I change to quarter size, again my object changes, but my dimensions remain the same. So what's happening is I have three different dimensions, as you already saw, and each time I change the viewport scale, it's changing to one of those dimensions. It's turning that one on and making the other ones not visible. What happens if I change to a scale that's not on my list? You can see that the dimensions are no longer visible, so it lets you know that that is not available on your list. Now I do have my button over here for automatically scaling. So if I wanted to use 1 to 5 as a scale, I could click that on, then go over to my viewport scale and change 1 to 5, and now that's been added to my list as an additional set of dimensions. So that's a quick way to add to your dimension list and to add new annotative scales while you're working with your viewports. When you've set your viewport to the scale that you want, then it's a good idea to lock that viewport so that it doesn't get changed.